And now, your Fox 34 Weather Authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Matt Ernst. Daylight saving time comes to an end early Sunday morning, so tomorrow night, the clocks that need to be set manually, so many of them do it themselves now, but the ones that are manually set, roll those back an hour. Also, it's a good time to check the uh, smoke detector battery or change the smoke detector batteries. Also, the carbon monoxide detectors, check for those here tomorrow night. So, I mean, just seems like this fall has just been rushing along. Well, tomorrow we go back to more of the warm weather. We had winter here earlier this week, kind of springtime weather tomorrow. Then another front will move on through a little bit cooler on Sunday. Throughout next week, it will be sunny and dry. Sunset or sunrise, I should say, all the way to 806. Then it'll be just after 7 o'clock on Sunday, but 8.06 tomorrow morning, about 39 to start the day, mostly clear sky, and the wind pretty light out of the west. Warm for the afternoon, but for the trick-or-treaters tomorrow night, we'll have a steady north to northeast breeze up to about 18 miles per hour at 6 o'clock in the 70s, but by 10 o'clock back in the mid-50s, so it will be cool and probably will feel a bit cooler when you factor in that breeze. Tomorrow morning, starting off around 35 at Dimmit and Hart, 40 at Matador, and about 43 in Borden County, including Gale. For the afternoon, most spots up around 80, a nice recovery with the wind from the southwest becoming northerly. Let's look at the wind direction here. For tonight, it's actually going to stay pretty light, maybe about 5 to 12 miles per hour. I think first part of the day, a southwesterly wind, but then watch the clock here by the afternoon, 3, 4 o'clock. We're seeing the wind shift around out of the north, becoming northeasterly and pretty steady. This will be noticeable if you're outside. If you're going to the tech game or trick or treating, steady wind in store. The wind should back off a bit by the time we get into Sunday morning. And it is clear all around the region, not just here. Plentiful sunshine. I mean, we're just knowing the very wispy clouds indicated. So maybe a few passing clouds the next few days. That's it. I don't see a sign of showers here over the next seven days. Now for the tech game day forecast tomorrow, warm in the afternoon, but getting cool for the game. You can catch it on Fox 34 kick off just after sunset in the upper 60s, dropping to near 50 by the end of the game with the steady northeast wind behind the front cooler here on Sunday. Then a warming trend returns back to the 70s Tuesday up around 80 on Wednesday.